Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So I want to talk a little bit about the stuff that you're putting in your tires, right? So puncture-proof type of stuff. Now, I've always used stands, no tubes, for quite a long time. And when you open that product up, there's certain things that you're going to find and not going to find. I'm not going to get into that really a lot. But I started reading a few articles on using flat attack with stands, and I didn't know the reason behind it all, but I decided I was going to give it a test to figure out how it worked. So this year, you guys know I raced Leadville this year, and I also raced Rebecca's Private Idaho on my cross bike, which I'm using this type of product in my tires. So at uh, when I got to Leadville, I noticed that one of my buddies didn't have anything in his tires. So I decided to put the stands in there, use the flat attack. We went riding that day. Instantly, I started to see green around the tire, but I didn't see any of the white. And I was like, holy cow, what's going on? Anyway, he had punctured that tire in two different spots, and it absolutely fixed it. But there was no stands to be seen, okay? So then, when we tore the tire apart, you could see that there was a bead around the outside where the white was, but this liquid was everywhere in there, and the stands wasn't really in where it'd be found. So then my mind was like, wow, that is crazy. So I wanted to find out more about the product. Now I understand why that was. Yes. So Tori, I stopped by to talk to him because when you're sealing a tire, and I'll let him get into it. Explain what you explained to me, Tori. Why, if you use stands, because when you're sealing a tire on, and then you add this to it, what makes the benefit? So the major benefit would be you get the longevity of a fiber-based sealant with the ability to use a conversion kit. So the latex and the stands is what will actually seal the bead and seal the sidewall. And then what's actually giving you the flat preventative would be the flat attack seal. Yeah, which is actually it. Now, I'm going to tell you one other story that happened to me this year. So I'm on Rebecca's Private Idaho. I'm coming down. We're, uh, I'm in with the lead group, or the second lead group coming back. Cruising down. We come down this pass, and I get a pinch flat, which I didn't know was a pinch flat. I had the flat attack in there, and it's sealed. And then all of a sudden, I go a little bit further, and I can hear it trying to seal again. I look in there. And there was a hole in my sidewall about this big. And honestly, this stuff, I mean, it damn near had a seal. It was so impressive. In fact, two of the guys in the, in the group were like, what in the crap are you using? It, it was super impressive. It ended up not sealing the tire, but just to see what it did, I knew that I had the right product in there. I knew there was really something to this product that I'd never seen before. So we took the tire off and we sealed, we put a tube in, but you could see all around inside there, this flat attack stuff. I mean, it was not just all of a sudden dried up. It wasn't disappeared out of the tire. So super impressive and uh, a lot of credit to these guys for, for whatever they have in there. And so love the product. The only downfall to the product that I have right now is this size of bottle does not fit in the back of my little kit that I built. <laughs> I need a little tiny one and that's where the stands fits. So, you know, you put the stands in there but when you got that kind of a flat and you want something like this, I'm not sure exactly how to carry it yet. So we're going to have that discussion so that we can get that fixed because we can sell a lot more product if we can use it out there. Anyway, great product. If you're not using this product, I highly recommend it at this point in time. Go out, give it a, give it a, a test. But it's a really unique product. It almost looks like, I don't even know what it looks like, like baby food when you go to put it in. I mean, it's really different looking, but uh, works really well. and. Uh, love to find new technologies that can help you so I pass that on if you are sealing a, a tire once again I'm not saying stands is bad I'm not here trying to, to even say that but I am saying that when you have a puncture and you see the green on there and you notice it it's super impressive so Great. thanks for all that thanks of for course. taking some time out thanks, and explaining guys. that to us and uh, if you guys have questions make sure you put them below and once again I'm not trying to rip on any other products, so don't get all fired up about that. But talk about solutions. That's what we're here to do, and this is a great one for it. So make the comments below. Give these guys a link to it. They can get back to you. Keep out there riding your bike.